Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to talk about a desktop engineer or a support analyst, support engineer, technician, what have you, uh, and what they do. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry. I love IT and I've worked across many different facets in many different organizations uh, around the information technology um, career spectrum, right? And we're gonna look at a desktop um, engineer, a support analyst, uh, what do they do? Generally, these guys land in what's called a level two position. So in most companies, you may have a level one, level two, level three, sort of escalation, um, triaging escalation for technical issues, right? So if somebody in the business has a technical problem, they need to log a ticket, they may need to call somebody, they send an email to somebody in the IT department. Now in some scenarios, in some businesses, if they're small, you may not have this setup of one, two, three, you may just have a small group of IT people, you may have one IT person, you may have nobody, and you just do some contracting, you get some consultants in from time to time. But in medium, larger businesses, you generally have a level one, level two, level three. Level one being your help desk guys, so you know your service desk that are firstly take the call, and then they can generally escalate it up to a desktop support, support analyst sort of person uh, who is a bit more skilled in certain technologies. They need to be able to diagnose computer issues that the help desk guys couldn't resolve, right? So these guys are going to be fairly technical, uh, can understand the technical details of computers, uh, how to open up a computer and diagnose problems, how to install software, how to troubleshoot problems, those sort of things. So troubleshooting is one of their big, big elements of a desktop support engineer. As I said before, perhaps the help desk will get a call, I need some help, I'm having this issue on my computer. They can't fix it for whatever reason. They will escalate it up to a level two person, a desktop person. It is then their job to go and diagnose and troubleshoot the problem looking through, perhaps looking through logs on a, on a Windows computer, on a Mac computer perhaps, um, checking, you know, rebooting the computer, maybe updating the software, connecting it to Active Directory again, which is the, um, the tool for Microsoft for authenticating users on a, on a network, for example. Um, they wanna maybe check some configuration to see if they can access the server, what have you. They really need to be able to have a troubleshooting mind, be able to really, uh, enjoy the challenge, the puzzle of trying to fix a problem, and be able to you know, navigate across a number of different technologies to try to diagnose and fix that problem. They're responsible for perhaps installing software, creating software packages, software images, going out onto the floor and installing software for folks, right? They need some new versions of what, whatever, new version of Microsoft Office, they may need to install that. A bit more higher up than that, they may be involved around packaging software, right? So rather than going out and deploying it individually, they could package it up and then pushing it out remotely. You know, there's tools such as SCCM, which is a great tool that a lot of desktop guys use, a lot of support guys will use for managing your, um, your fleet of computers. You know, you can go and remote into their computers so you don't have to go out on site. You know, if, if your customers or your users are in a different building, in a different state, in a different country perhaps, um, you can just remote into their computer, control their screen, diagnose troubleshoot problems, install their software, fix their problems, etc. Right? A lot of stuff that they can do from there. So a lot of desktop guys may also get involved in uh, server um, diagnosis or server administration. It doesn't necessarily have to be a level three person that gets involved uh, you know, from a systems administrator, or systems engineer, or a network person. They're, they're not the only ones that necessarily get involved. A desktop guy, a support engineer, support analyst, uh, may get involved from a server perspective. They could be responsible for managing multiple servers, managing file servers, going in and managing Active Directory, the domain controllers, and, and controlling things there, controlling DNS, you know, adding records into DNS, going to DHCP, making sure that computers on the network can get you know IPs assigned, those sort of things. But a lot of the case, a lot of the time, it's basic um, troubleshooting of a server. So if a server has a problem, they may be responsible for you know, reviewing alerts, reviewing monitors that are set in place around servers, going and trying to diagnose uh, servers, going into a server, for example, clearing out the C drive that is filled up, 
um, if a server, if it's a physical server, adding more RAM to it. Um, they may have access to virtualization technologies, so tools such as VMware or Citrix or Hyper-V, Microsoft Hyper-V, where they can go in and manage multiple virtual servers, go in and add more RAM, add more CPU to a server as directed perhaps from a level three engineer. Um, so they, I think they should have some form of experience from the server perspective. Um, in, in my experience, majority of people that I've worked with that have been desktop support, desktop analyst guys, have had good enough knowledge from a server perspective, and further to that, generally want to move into that next server um, career, right? And at the end of the day, somebody that's in a desktop support role who wants to move into a systems engineer role won't just move up just, as, just because. They'll generally already be involved in servers, and get more proficient and more advanced in their diagnosis of servers to be able to move up to that next level. So really a desktop guy is somebody that is very, very customer focused, can deal with customers and users very well. They're likable, they're, you know, they're, they're, they work well as a team, especially that's another important thing. But really from a customer perspective, um, what I look for when I'm looking for desktop guys, for example, for, to work in, in, in a company, I don't look for somebody that can tell somebody how to fix a problem. Or, or just go and fix the problem, right? Go and tell the user, this is what you need to do to fix it. I prefer them to work with that person. Sit down with them, show them how to do it, and actually train that staff member on how to do it themselves, perhaps next time, you know, so that they, the desktop person can focus on other things. So that is my overview of what a desktop support analyst, uh, engineer, many titles, technician, uh, do from a day-to-day -day basis. So. I would love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you found this helpful, please do let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, like my video, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as well, Digital Bike Computer, by clicking on the button. And uh, we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, just on the button there for more videos.